Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the front crank, which comes with two bolts. These bolts are eight millimeter bolts. And what we're using is a square tapered alloy crank with an alloy ring, preventive of rust. This is a square taper, so just place it in that position right there. That front derailleur, if it rubs, which it is on this, we're going to loosen that bolt up. That's a five millimeter. Most of the tools that you're gonna use are a five millimeter, a four millimeter, and a 15. This particular clamp is set a little low. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna raise it a little bit. Loosen the adapter. Move that up a little bit. Don't tighten that at this point. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put on this crank and then realign that front derailleur. We're gonna do this nice and snug and let it go. On this particular derailleur, the Shimano derailleur, it has a little red tab. That little red tab will line up with the chain sprocket. What you want to do is line up the teeth with the little tab and it's outlined. From the top, take a look and make sure it's straight and tighten up your adapter. These pedals are nicely designed so you can wear thongs, go barefoot, wear your sneakers, and have a non-slip rubber type of platform. We're going to take the left arm right now. We're going to place that on here. Just line that up so it is exactly at the same level parallel to the other arm on the right on the right hand side. Put your bolt in and Now let's install our pedals. They're marked R and L. L again is always on the disc side when you have your disc brake as well as the non-drive side. That's the left side. Always the threads go forward. You can do this by hand. And again, a 15 millimeter will work perfectly by tightening this up. You don't need to over tighten, just snug them up and you're ready to go. Pedals installed.